Well, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. How many people want to be where he is? Amen. Praise God. I said, how many people really Ooh. want to be where the Lord is? Amen. That song was on my, my spirit this morning. And uh, I've been, I was thinking this morning, I was uh, working out, and I was thinking this morning, First Lady, that we've been doing this for almost two years straight. Yes. Praise almost the Lord. two years straight. Praise the Lord. With no break. Amen. No break. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To and, God uh, be the glory. And I just said, you know. For it, the great things he has done. It's for your glory. Amen. It's for your glory. Amen. And I, and I was sitting there and I said, Lord, are you telling me that I've been preaching like over 100 messages? Come on. Straight. Come no, on. No, no break. It's called anointing. No break. Just 100 messages. Amen. And, 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 that, and we that appreciate even, you for doing that. Thank you, Amen. Ma and that Amen. don't even include Amen. Bible study. Come on. I said, Lord. Uh-oh, now you got to double it. <laughs> now you got to double it. I said, Lord, have mercy. Lord, oh, have praise mercy. God. Amen. Praise God. Hey, you know, that, it, that'll let you know if you're called or not. Come on now. I tell you what, it'll let you know if you're called or not. That's what I said. Amen. You're anointed. And so it's, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's been rough, and that's why I, that's why I preach uh, to the pastors so much. John Bishop, good morning. So I preach to the pastors so much, and pastors watch me, and and um, I talk to them because it, it's 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 a difficult journey, and even even uh, clergy 
need to be encouraged come on, sometimes. Come on. Amen. Clergy, come yeah. on. Let's throw in the first ladies. Don't the forget ladies, about the first man. ladies. Because when you call, come on, when you call the man or woman of God, guess yes. what happens? You call the, the spouse, and this is another one people family. don't talk too much about. You call the whole family. Call the whole family. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The whole family. You call the whole family. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord and welcome everyone to our online real-time worship experience. Uh, I do want to just do a quick shout out. We got Valentine's Day. Get it to red, you know. Um, but we got Valentine's Day coming up on um, Monday, yes. and I just want to say happy Valentine's Day to happy you. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. The love Amen. of my life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I, had, I had no intent on putting on this red little red vest this yeah, morning. Yeah, but, but he had a little coaching today. But I had some coaching. Amen. <laughs> Look at, look, at, look at John Bishop. John Bishop already talking about the Rams. Look at him. He can't even get it up. <laughs> hey, you know, it just go to show you, John Bishop, that um, uh, that the quarterback was not the issue in Detroit. <laughs> I just leave it there. Hey, Amen. Okay. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, little Quarter, sports the talk. The quarterback huh? was not the issue in Detroit. Hey, Amen. <laughs> God bless Amen. you to the Johnsons. Amen. Yes. The Edmonds is back from Jamaica, mm, man. Yes. They're back from Jamaica, man. Right. Amen. Don't worry about a ting. Every ting is going to be all right. All right. Black, Blackwell's <laughs> is in the house. Good morning, Gina. Amen. Glad y'all could uh, take care of that, uh, uh, that business on yesterday, Gina. Hopefully, I didn't hold y'all up too bad. Uh, Amen. My heart, my Amen. heart, my heart. I got a lot on, on the plate. Amen. Amen. What you got, First Lady? Just want to just remind everyone that we are kingdom seekers here at Antioch. Uh, we believe that Matthew 6 and 33 uh, tells us to seek God first and everything that we have need of, God will handle that. In other words, if we take care of God's business and yes. make him first in priority, he will take care of our business. We That's are right. also empowered by love. Edified by faith. Come on and committed, and committed to excellence. To excellence. And as I always say, excellence don't mean you got to spend a lot of money. Amen. All right. You can have a spirit of excellence on a budget. Come on. Amen. The ball on the budget. Praise the Lord. Praise things. the Lord. Yeah. Balling, Balling out on, on a budget. You can do it. You just got to be smart about it. So let's get right to our Psalms, Psalms 43 and 3. It says, oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling places. Yes. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling places and, you know, as I think about this year, how we're focusing on a rise and shine, yes. the light has come. This, um, this uh, scripture really reminds us that God's light and his truth, it leads us. And I love how the psalmist says that he brings us to God's holy hill. And, you know, when you think about a hill, like right now it's snowing and everything and kids got their sleds out and they're going down hills and having a good time and everything. But, you know, when you get up on that hill, you can see everything. That's right. Everything is clear and you can see uh, quite a ways away as well. Yes. So the psalmist is telling us that God has a high place for us where we can see, where we can see beyond what's happening today, but that we can see into the future and the plans that he has for us. And then, of course, he ends with in his dwelling place. And we know that in the presence of the Lord, um, there is joy and there is fulfillment. So I just wanted to share that uh, scripture with everyone. Um, Psalms, again, 43 and 3. Dive into it and yes. uh, make it part of your um, Bible study, yes. uh, your personal Bible study this My week. Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise awesome. the Lord. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Amen. Also want to just say that we're praying for the Anderson family. That's the family of uh, our daughter in love, Destiny Thomas. Uh, they had an uh, uncle pass away um, uh, this uh, past week. So let's keep uh, them uh, in uh, our prayers. Again, that's the Anderson family. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Keeping them Praise in our the prayers Lord. this morning. Amen. Yes. Well, why don't you go ahead and lead us in prayer this Amen. morning. Amen. All right, saints of God, let's st stand to our feet. Join me in prayer as we go corporately as a body together to the throne of grace where we can find mercy in our time of need. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, 
We thank you and praise yes, you for thank this you, day. Thank you, we Father. know that this day is custom made from you, Father yes, God. Thank you, so Father. there is nothing in this day, Lord God, God, that would be able to push us back from your purpose, Father God. Yes. We thank you, Father God, that we are your people of love. We thank you, Lord God, that we know that uh, faith works by love. So we operate in love. We operate in your faith. We operate in the word today because yes, we know that the word mixed with faith can do some powerful things. Thank so, you, Father, Father God, we thank you even as our pastor is preparing and you've dropped words from uh, on high, Lord God, into his heart, Father God, for your people. Prepare us even now, Lord yes, God, Lord, come on. that we would be a ready ground for this word, Lord Thank God. Thank you, Father. That we would not miss it in the hearing, Lord God, but that we would catch it. We would catch the revelation that comes along with this word, Father God. We will hide it in our hearts yes. that we would not sin against you, Lord thank God. You, and that the word, Father God, that is being produced today, we thank you, Lord God, that it will produce in us as well, Father God, that it will manifest in us as well today, Father God. Yes, we Lord. thank you, Lord God, for your people today, no matter what continent or country they may find themselves on today. Yes. Thank we you, thank Father. you that they are blessed, Father God. We Bless. thank you that the things are going well with them, Lord yes. God. We thank, thank you, you that they are healthy that they are wealthy, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that they have peace today. We thank you that they have loving relationships yes, and healthy you, relationships. We thank you that our children today, Lord God, thank are you, excelling Father. in their academics. Thank you, we thank you that you have um, prepared Ooh, us to prosper, awesome. advance, to increase, you, Lord, Lord God, to thank expand. You. We thank you, Lord Bless God, you. That you have blessed us so much so, Lord yes. God, that we have overflow enough to help, to give, to fund the kingdom, Lord God, to help communities, Father God. We thank you for the government today. Mm. We thank you for our president and our vice president and all of their advisors and cabinet members, Lord God. We thank you that they are conscious of you today, Lord God, and that they are making decisions led by you today, Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that our families are blessed. We thank you, Lord God, that our homes are blessed. Mm. We thank you, Father God, that at this virus, Lord God, is leaving the globe. We thank you that the hospital stays are down. We thank you that the yes. uh, fatalities are down, down Lord God. Down. We thank yes, you that Lord. the cases are down. down in Jesus' Lord, name, Jesus we name. thank you that, again, it is yes. leaving the globe leaving the in globe. Jesus, name. Jesus' name. And, Father, we just give you all the glory, glory. the honor, and the praise and today. The praise. Have your way here Have today. Have your way. Fill us with the knowledge yes. of your will yes. and your wisdom and all understanding yes. that we, your people, will walk worthy unto you. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus let every name. heart say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I got you. Yes. I, I want you, you just talk to, say something about the, I uh, prayed about the uh, kids today. Yes. I got two two good friends, and and they both, I, I call them both my sons, mm -hmm. and uh, one is a principal at Sexton High School, Dan Bogan. Yes. And the other is a principal at Eastern High School, Marcel Crothers. Yes. And, um, Dan Bogan just texted me just a few minutes ago and said that his kids at sex, because he thinks them his kids. Of course they're his kids. That, that's why he's he a said, good principal. That's why he's a good principal. That's said, right. He said his kids just won some sort of trip uh, to the Super Bowl or something like that. I yes. didn't get a chance to read it real good, but... Yes. Uh, it, it, you know, he was happy enough to say, I'm, yes. let, me, let me share this with the pastor Amen. real quick. Amen. Amen. So I'm Praise just proud of him. I'm proud of, I'm proud of both them brothers and yes. what they're doing and, and, uh, and how they the have work. led, how they have led those schools can in you some imagine, difficult times. Can Amen. you imagine being a high schooler? Come on now. Yeah. And having the opportunity to go to the Super Bowl yes. because of your principal yes. advocating for that. Yes. We're also praying for the Daniel Francis uh, and uh, family and also for uh, the family of Clarence Saunders as well. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, it is time for some announcements. Time to make hey, would that change. And would y'all do me a favor? Go look up <laughs> in that right-hand corner on your page or on your cell phone, whatever, wherever it is. I don't know where it exactly is uh, on your device. But click that share button. Uh, our dear brother, uh, Greg Miller, he already shared it. Why don't y'all click that share button with somebody yes. today so they can... They can get some word today. They can jump in and and uh, and get some live word today, or or can even jump in and get some word a little bit later. Hey, Martina, and uh, hey, okay, they, what what is right there? Five students 
went to the Super Bowl. Amen. Yes. They left on Friday. Amen. That's what Dan just sent me. Yes. He just sent me that. Amen. Thank yes. you, Sister Motley. Yes. Amen. He just sent me that. So they Holding it down at Sexton, Sister Motley. Big I see reds. you. <laughs> the big reds. Yes, that's what it's all about. It's Amen. about community, y'all. At yes. the end of the day, we should be, you know, we can't just keep talking and talking about what needs to be done. We have to look happen. within our own uh, real estate and say, what can I do? You know, Amen. what can I do? How can I make a difference? So God bless all those that were involved in sponsoring those five uh, students to go to the Super Bowl. That's awesome. That Amen. is awesome. Amen. They, in awesome. they out there with John Bishop. They can just call John Bishop and stay with John Bishop house. <laughs> right. John, they'll call you and stay over your house. You'll host them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got we got we got people that jump online all over the country. That's Amen. The beauty of John it. Bishop Martini, they coming on from yes. California. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, listen, um, uh, first and third Sunday, first and third Sunday, we are meeting face to face. So Amen. come on in, uh, don your mask and and let's um, you know, let's adhere uh, to the um, uh, to the protocol and y'all can come on in to service first and third Sunday. Amen. Um, hallelujah. I am. I want to let y'all know that I am thinking um, uh, the date that I have in mind for the anniversary is May 15th. That's the third Sunday in May for uh, uh, for our anniversary. Amen. 15 years. We've been grinding for 15 years. Amen. And um, and so, of course, we'll we'll grab Martez Warren and and bring him on back in. We have I haven't had anybody in since the pandemic. Amen. And and before that, I hadn't had an anniversary. So we haven't had an anniversary in about three years, maybe four years. Haven't had an anniversary. Amen. So we're gonna have an anniversary, and then we also want to make sure that we celebrate uh, the fellowship hall. We're gonna dedicate that. Uh, we'll do all that at Amen. one time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, uh, birthdays. February, happy birthday to all of our February birthdays. What you got, Amen. First Lady? Man, we got Tatiana Mason, Steve Mitchell, Virginia Wilson, Sybil Davis. Uh, we have the the Brown, uh, I can't remember the first name, Sister Simon, uh, one of her grands, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Aaron Moore, Angela Fuqua, Robert Harris, yeah. Tanisha Berry. Coming up tomorrow is Devin Wisdom on the 14th. We have Renee Motley on the 16th, Gina Blackwell, right. Lauren Dotson. Ladesia Eanes, all on the 19th. They all have, on the same day? On the same day. Wow. Yeah, I like all of them. <laughs> that was a popular day. Amen. The 24th, we have... Justice. She uh, said it was justice. justice. Thank you, Sister Simon. Yeah. Um, the 24th, we have Carolyn Terry and Tamika Wembley. Yes. The 26th is Lillian Woods. And the 28th is Donjo Franklin Sr. Big Donjo. Yes. Big Donjo, got a birthday coming Amen. up. Amen. Well, happy birthday to all of our February birthdays. Just so uh, so grateful for you all. And and um, hopefully the snow will get out of here in Michigan and we can start getting ready for, for the spring. Amen. Yes. Don't Come forget on. that March 5th is our pantry. And our and 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 the team is working very hard. Uh, Petra Waters, uh, Gina Blackwell, Carolyn Terry—they are working really hard uh, to make sure that people get fed. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. And then also, uh, people give onto the pantry. Yes. And Sister Terry um, McLaren sent a, a donation to the pantry. Amen. And then we know that the union is coming up with a donation to the pantry. And so we just we thank God for uh, just people coming through in the time of need amen so march 5th is our next uh food pantry march 5th is the next food pantry if you want to drop things off you can do so at 11 30 and then the pantry starts at 12 o'clock amen. amen just a quick happy birthday to aria wilson okay. on the 12th amen all right amen they be getting they, they be getting the getting birthdays them in. in yeah why they? not they be getting the birthday shouts in amen and our prayer is every Tuesday, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. Please, if you have never uh, called the prayer line, just, all you got to do is call the prayer line, jump on. Somebody is going to be on there praying. They pray for 10 minutes. We're very disciplined about it. Amen. And, you know, um, you know, re real strategic about the prayer. And so, hey, you come on at 6 uh, a.m. and we done at 610. Amen. Amen. 10 minutes of prayer. Amen. Very Amen. disciplined. Amen. So make sure. And then also come back at 6 o'clock. 
uh, for, for evening and prayer. Our, and our February uh, theme for prayer is a heart filled with love glorifies the Lord. Yes. Amen. amen. Beautiful. Amen. Amen. And don't forget Wednesday Bible study. We're uh, uh, continuing uh, Arise, Shine, the, the Light Has Come. Uh, and then we're also, uh, the, the theme for this quarter is The Lighted Path. So jump on uh, Bible study as well. And then, of course, you can find us on one of these uh, social media platforms as well. Amen. 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 Was that was that all right? Did we go through that quick enough? Yes, Amen. I think so. Oops. Look like I look like I got escaped from something. Hopefully I won't need that later. <laughs> Amen. It's all good. You got the word, so you, you got the main part. What Jesus say the the good part, you got the good part. I, I got the good part. Yeah. Look like I X out of something I wasn't supposed to X out of. Y'all ready to roll? Listen. Don't be, don't forget that it is time to give. Amen. Somebody say, hey, my cousin is here. It's time to give. Amen. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto yes. you. Good measure, pressed down, Good shade morning, together. Jill. And running over, it says that men will do what? They'll give into your bosom. That's Amen. Right. They'll give into God, your bosom. God, listen to this. God, when you give, God uses people in the earth to get it back to you. Amen. Overflow. Think about that. Think about that. Yes, he and does. And you can't be God given. He's you can't gonna be God always given. overflow you. He's gonna always expand you. Come on. Yeah, he he'll, just he'll, gonna, he'll overtake I, you I with those blessings. I still got that blessings. born to prosper yeah. on me. So he'll overtake you. <laughs> he'll overtake you with them blessings. Amen. Amen. So listen, if you're Amen. sewing through Cash App, go ahead. It's a money sign, capital A N T I O C H, fifty four thirty. If you want to sew through PayPal, if that's your preferred method, then go out to the website. Uh, www.antiochoflansing.org and then uh, click on the prompts. It'll, it'll click on the given prompts. It'll take you right there if that's your way. Or if you say, you know what, I'm still old school. Then you can write a check, send it to the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 80346, Lansing, Michigan, 48908. I think that's it. Did I get that right? What's our P.O. Box? Did I get that right? 80346 Lansing, Michigan. Oh, 48908. 48908. There you go. 48908. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so, listen, that is that is the case. Now, it, wherever you are, whatever time you're watching, let's just send a shout out to uh, 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 Auntie Ramona. Hey, Ramona. Hi, Auntie. Auntie. Love you. What's up? <laughs> That's, 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 that's for my auntie because she, she watches and, via. And hello to all of the YouTube watchers. Yes, everybody that watches Thank you. Thank through, you. through YouTube. God bless y'all. Amen. Amen. But, uh, you know, that's my auntie. I got to send right. a shout out to that's my auntie. Right. Amen. And so we send a shout out to her. She watches all the time. Amen. And she be commenting, too. She be sending them little comments. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All on the, on, the, um, on the comment section. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't forget. Don't forget uh, to, to, to sow into one of these uh, methods. Come on, y'all. Raise your offering if you are sowing uh, through uh, YouTube. If you're watching later on today, you're watching 11 o'clock at night, you can still sow your seed. It don't matter. It don't have to be 11 o'clock in the afternoon. It could be midnight. Whenever you're watching this, sow your seed by faith. Amen? Amen. Come on, lift your offering up. Stand to your feet, y'all. Lift your offering up. Say, Father God. Father God. Say, I thank you. I thank you. Come on, y'all. Say it. I thank you. I thank for you. For blessing me. For blessing me. With this seed. With this seed. I'm sowing my seed. I'm sowing my seed. By faith. By faith. And Lord. And Lord. I fully expect. I fully expect. A 100-fold return. A 100-fold return. On my giving. On my giving. Lord. Lord. We live. We live. To give. To give. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How many givers do. do we have? That's How what many? we do. How many givers do we have? Amen. Amen. How many givers do we have? Come on, just 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 wave your offering. Thank just, you. Thank uh, you for just, manifesting just, just Romans. Wave yourself 12. in that Hallelujah. offering. Hallelujah. Two Hallelujah. Years, in two your years, people. Thank and you, you God. didn't get shut out. Amen. Hallelujah. Two years and you yes, didn't get shut yes, out. Yes. The Lord just kept sowing, kept yes. sowing into your life. Amen. Amen. Kept giving you raises. Giving you raises my throughout God, the pandemic. My God, Amen. come on now. Hallelujah. Testify. Kept food on your table. Testify. Throughout the pandemic. Mm. I was on YouTube the other day, and now they didn't reach the point where they don't want to say COVID no more. Everybody, don't, don't, say, don't, say, don't say don't say What you talking about? Y'all, what, what are y'all scared of? Amen. We are, listen, listen. Listen, this thing, this pandemic that we face has been like no other. Amen. And we can't fake like it never did occur. It did occur. Amen. Yes. And listen, and God 
sustained us. Yes, because you know COVID, I told Ed, it's like dog years, you yes, know. It is. It's not just a regular year. It's like seven years or something, yes, you know. Yeah. Hey, Wilson's good to see you, Dorothy and Trey. Dorothy and Trey out there. <laughs> Amen. Man, bless y'all. Bless Amen. y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Too. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, y'all, listen, let's go to work. Amen. Turn right. with me to Isaiah chapter number 57. Isaiah chapter number 57. Isaiah 57. It's good to see everybody come. They get that word before the game and all that stuff. Amen. Come and uh, make sure that, uh, that you take care of God's business before you take care of other stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter number 57. Isaiah chapter number 57. It's at the bottom of your screen. Uh, verse number 13 and 14. 13 and 14. Amen. I thank God for you guys. I, I really do. I really do. Amen. You know, when 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 things get tough, when things get tough, you know, it, it uh, you know, it life ain't always easy. Amen. John Bishop, I'm gonna tell you something, young man. Life ain't, is not always easy. Sometimes this thing gets hard, downright hard. Amen. And you just gotta keep the faith and keep pressing, keep your head up, and keep on moving. Amen. Amen. Um, listen, let me say this. Let me say this because I don't know if she will be able to see the comments that that, that come in. But um, uh, Auntie uh, John Bishop is saying, hey, Grandma. <laughs> Auntie, that's for you. Uh, John Bishop is he's sending you a shout out. I know he communicates with you all the time, but he's sending you a shout out. Y'all ready? Isaiah 57, 13 and 14. It reads. When thou crieth, let the companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain and shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block, out of my way of my people. Let, let me read to you. I want to read this verse, if you will. I want to read it in the, um, in the, uh, the common English version. Just the common English version. It says it like this. It reads it like this. It says, ask your idols to save you when you are in trouble. Be careful, though. It takes only a faint breath to blow them over. <laughs> but if you come to me for protection, this land and my holy mountain will always belong to you, the Lord says. Clear the road. Get it ready for my people. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for your grace today. I thank you, Lord God, for these, your people that have gathered to hear your word today. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you speak through my vocal cords. I pray, Lord God, that you think through my mind. I ask you, Lord God, to help me to preach according to your word, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you allow me, Ed Thomas, to decrease as the Spirit of God increases boldly. I pray, Lord God, none of me, but I pray all of thee. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. Now, before you, before you sit down, just, just take your Bible, just, just shake it, shake it, say, this is my word. Say, come on, repeat this after me. Say, this is my word. Say, if I receive this word with my mind only, then this word is dead to me. Come on, say it. But if I receive this word with my spirit, over my mind, then this word is life to me. I do not need any religious form or fashion. I need life in Jesus' name. Amen. I mean, how many people, if you need life in Jesus' name, send some thumbs up there real quick. If you need some life in Jesus' name, somebody came today, somebody came today. And, and you need you need some 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 life today. Somebody came today, 
and, and you need a word from the Lord today. And, and I believe that the Lord has put something on my heart just, just for you. Amen. The, 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 the title of this message is, is called Clearing the Way. It's called Clearing the Way. Last week, we, we learned that our journey uh, in life is not complete. Your, your, your journey is, is not, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you find yourself at. I stopped by to tell somebody today that your journey is not complete. The Spirit of the Lord said unto us last week that what feels like the end of the road is merely an intersection. The thoughts that it took to get you to this point are not the same thoughts that you need to get you beyond the intersection. I think I just said something. See, see, you can't, you can't continue in, on, in a new scene with the old lines from the old movie. Come on, somebody. Proverbs 16 and 9 says it like this. Put that on the screen for me, somebody. Put that on the screen for me. Proverbs 16 and 9 says, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. So what, what it is is that the Lord is trying to prepare us for what's to come. And the Lord doesn't want us, watch this, Ante, the Lord doesn't want us to rehearse what was. So often we rehearse what was and, 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 you know, we, you know, I was teaching in, 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 in Bible study, how we have these baskets and we have this, this basket uh, of fear. And then we got this basket of victory. And, and what we'll do is we have, we, we have our lives set up with, with this, with this basket of fear over here. And, 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 and we have set up all of these protections around this basket of fear. I'm just trying to give you a visual of, of what the mind does. And, and, and we, we set up all these, these protections around this, this, this basket of fear. And, 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 we, and we don't want things to touch that fear because inside that fear basket is a little thing called pain. And, and you don't want things to touch that, that, that element of pain. So we, we set up all these things in our mind so that, so, so that, so that, so that we, we're never hurt. So that, so we never feel that again. And, and in relationships and uh, in, in life and work and all these different things, we got all these things set up in our minds. Why? To avoid pain to avoid to avoid that 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 that, 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 that drama uh, that that you felt when you was five or you when you felt when you were seven or you felt when you were nine you said i'm never gonna feel that again so then we set up all these things over here in our victory basket to say you know what i don't want to i don't want to feel that so 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna put it over here and, and everybody uh that that is over on this side that i'm gonna make sure that that my life goes this way and and so we have all these different plans in our lives to avoid the fear basket. Are y'all still here? Y'all still y'all here? Y'all all right? And, and, and so and so last week I said that the Lord is trying to establish our thoughts, the thoughts in our minds, not the thoughts in your mind of how you think that life should be. Huh? Remember, we got that fear, we got victory. So we set up in our minds, we set up in our minds that we this is how I believe life should be, right? And, and so, and so, and so, when lie when our lives don't match how we thought they should be, many of us will deem that aspect of our life as a failure. But if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that 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 I believe that failure is your finding place. I believe that failure that when you when 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 you don't succeed at something, it teaches you and shows you, huh, where you came short. Are y'all still with me? And so, and so, and so, I stopped by here just to tell somebody. I, I need to tell somebody. So I need to I need to encourage somebody that that it doesn't matter where you thought you should be. You are where you are. Amen. 
and you thought that you should be there, but you're not there. Amen. Maybe you, maybe it was never designed for you to be there. You just put that in your own mind. You should be there. Amen. I, I, I should be a doctor, but you never even passed chemistry. Come on, somebody. Huh? Never even passed chemistry. You never even took a chemistry class. Amen. You never even took a science class. You hated science, but you should be a doctor. Come on. You didn't put that in your own mind. Right? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I stop by to tell somebody that you are successful, that you, you have what it takes. And when, when the enemy uh, 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 visits your mind to tell you uh, that you're not this and you're not that, I stop by to tell you that the devil is a liar. I say he's a liar. Amen. And the truth is not in him. Your journey is not over. Your journey is not complete. Your best is yet to come. Amen? God sent me by here to tell somebody today that, that, that he is clearing the way. <laughs> I said he's clearing the way. He's clearing the way for bigger and better in your life. First Lady and myself, we have had the privilege in our lives to have had two homes built from the ground up. There was nothing there. We built them from the ground up and and on each bill, the first thing that we had to do was select the land. Amen? And, and then we had to sit down with the builder and give the architect the vision of what we felt like the house should be. Y'all still with me? Then the architect will go back and say, based on what you guys told me, I'm going to build a blueprint. And this blueprint is going to be established so that everybody that touches this property knows this is what the vision is. Oh, man, that's good, y'all. Mm -hmm. and, 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 so, and so the first thing that happens once the blueprint is established, once it's all agreed upon, the first thing that happens, watch this, watch this, Mr. Thomas. The first thing that happens is that they come in and they clear the way. The first thing they do is they come and they clear the way. Clearing the way is not an easy task. But clearing the way, watch this, is necessary. If you're going to, if you're going to get where God needs you to get to, you got to clear the way. If you're going to get there, you got to clear the way. It's not easy, but it's necessary. Here's what's interesting. There, there, there were on both of those properties, there were some trees that were on that property. I call them stubborn roots because them trees had been there. Watch this, y'all. For years. And then somebody said, we're going to put a house here. And Mr. Tree, you got to go. But them trees was not no easy win. Them trees, the trees will fight you because they had root systems that had been established for years, if not hundreds of years. There were rocks that were on those properties. There were, there were boulders that were on those properties. And, and if we didn't repurpose those boulders, they had to dig those big boulders up and, and, and move them out of the way. I, I came to tell somebody something. You got to clear the way. And there are some things that we might have established in our minds. We might have established them from based on years or based on years of experience that, that, that if we're going to go beyond the new intersection, we're going to have to uproot some things and get rid of some things in our lives. I have to get in there and go have to level the ground. Got to level the ground. Somebody say, it's necessary. It's necessary. You got to clear the way. It's necessary. Isaiah then moves on and he starts talking about idols. He started talking about false gods. A idol is a false god. An idol is something that people are worshiping greater than they're worshiping God. Idols. You, you'll, see, you'll see people talk about such and such a is my idol. Well, what are you saying? Are you saying if that person is your idol, you're saying that person is over God? Well, no, no, no. It's just a program. Watch what you speak. Amen. 
be careful what you speak. He said, he said, he said a powerful statement right here. He said, ask your idols to save you when you're in trouble. He said, ask your idols to save you when you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter is idols don't have the power nor the authority to save you. Preach, Thomas. Watch this. Go with me to Psalms. Put it on the screen, somebody. Sister Pete, put it on the screen for me. Psalms 115, 4 through 7. Put it on the screen for me. There are idols, or, or their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes they have, but they see not. Ears, but they hear not. Noses they have, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. They have feet, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. Huh? Idols. It ain't nothing there. <laughs> he said it ain't nothing there. That's why our idol will get blown over so fast. He said, he said, he said, ask your idol. He's being sarcastic, y'all. Ask your idol to save you. Idols can't save you. Mm -hmm. Idols are the work of men's hands. Idols are things and even people that are placed above God. But here's what I love, saints of God. I love this. Somebody write this on the screen. Matthew 5 and 8. He said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Man, I feel good today. They shall see God. This season, God is positioning us to rise, to shine. Huh? Why? Because your light has come. God wants the goodness of your heart to be seen. I said, it is time for the world to see the goodness of your heart. Preach this thing, Thomas. That's your blueprint. Huh? That's the blueprint. Your heart is the blueprint. God wants his glory to be seen within you. That's the blueprint. He said, he said, he said, in order for your glory to be seen, watch this. God is going to level the ground. Huh? Somebody write in the chat, he's clearing away from me. Come on, say he's clearing away from me. God has a vision for us, and the vision has been casted. God is the architect, and he has already created a masterpiece blueprint in you, brother. He's created a masterpiece blueprint in you, sister. Huh? He's the master. He already sees your future. He sees you as a beautiful crystal chandelier hanging up in the oracles of time. He sees your heart sparkling with all of its splendor, with all of its glory. And God said, now is the time for the world to see what I've been seeing for the last 30 years. He already sees the beautiful marble foundation of your soul. Mm, mm, mm. The Lord sent me by here to tell somebody that it's time for the world to see. <laughs> he said it's open house time. <laughs> he said it's open house time. They are going to come in and see the goodness of the Lord through you. Mm. All right. All right. Let me give you this and I'll get out of your way. Let me give you this. Y'all still with me? Y'all still with me? Somebody say work, Lord, work, Lord, work, Lord. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Number one, write this down, our protection, our protection. Isaiah 57, 13 and 14, he says, ask your idols to save you when you're in trouble. Be careful, though. It takes only a faint breath to blow them over. Here it is right here, y'all. But if you come to me for protection, he said, this land and my holy mountain, I will always belong to you, says the Lord. He says, clear the road. Get ready for my people. How many people know that God is our protector? Somebody put that on the screen. Say, God is my protector. The Bible calls him Jehovah Nisi. He says, he is our banner. 
our protector. Y'all know I love old school, and old school used to have some profound wisdom, and, and I don't throw old school's wisdom away because they used to say some good stuff, y'all. And I remember when I'd be sitting around with old school, and old school start praying, and old school would say, God, protect us from danger seen and unseen. Y'all ain't said nothing. Y'all feel like preaching to somebody today, Deacon Mason. Yeah, you can't get no better than that. They said, protect us from danger seen and unseen. Arise, shine, for your light has come. God has covered us. He has protected us along the way. For some of y'all, when you were outside the will of God, you was doing some dirt, you were somewhere where you weren't supposed to be, but the Spirit of the Lord whispered in your ear and told you, get out now. Huh? You didn't know what it was. But you knew down in your spirit, you said, I got to go. And maybe the people said, you know what? Uh, why don't you stick around and stay? You said, no, 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 no. I got to leave right now. And, and, and Well, why won't you leave? Yeah, I can't explain it, but I got to go. And then you look back over your life and something tragic happened right after you left. Or maybe you was heading down the road and, 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 and the Spirit of the Lord said, don't go there. Turn right here, right now. You say, why? I, this ain't the way. I need you to go another way. You went the other way and you come find out a couple days later that there was a massive accident. Listen, he said, I've been protecting you for a long time. Danger seen and unseen. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He is our protector. Somebody say he's my protector. He's my protector. He's my protector. He's been there all the time. It could have been a bad relationship. He's been there all the time. Somebody write in the chat, but God. Idols can't save you, but God can. Idols can't protect you, but God can. In order to rise, we got to know what we're rising about. In order to shine, we got to know what we're shining about. We have to know that the light that is shining on us is the light that is coming straight from God. What you, what you think about, saints? What you, what, what's on your mind, saints? What, what's running through your mind right now? See, see, what a good preacher, when a good preacher is preaching, stuff is running through your mind right now. You, you thinking about, man, yeah, I, I've had some close calls in my life, and, and, and God has sought me through some things. Amen? Why? Because we serve an almighty God. This season that we're in is too important for us to have some idle thoughts running through our mind. We got to have some thoughts of the Lord running through our mind. Romans 14 and 13 says it like this. He said, let us therefore not judge one another anymore, but rather let's judge that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Mm. Preach, Thomas. I said a stumbling block is there to cause us to fall. Amen. Watch this. It's an opportunity to cause folks to sin. He said, let us not cause ourselves to fall. Preach this thing, Thomas. Let us not be the issue. Are y'all still with me? Let us not be the issue. I remember years and years ago, Mr. Thomas, I remember years ago I officiated this funeral service and, and the service didn't go like I had expected it to go. It didn't go like I thought it was going to go and, and I had some things on my mind and had some things on my heart and it was weighing kind of heavy on me because it didn't go the way I thought it should go and, 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 and I got to, to the church house and, and, and I was an assistant pastor at the time. I was an assistant uh, 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 for my pastor at the time and I was over at the church called Friendship Baptist Church at the time and and my, and my pastor was Lester D. Stone, very good uh, uh, mentor. And, and so I, 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 he said, he said, what's going on with you, Thomas? He said, what, what, what's on your mind? How'd the, how'd the funeral go? And I told him what happened with the funeral. And he said, he said something that was very comforting to me. He said something that, that, very, that, that encouraged my soul and, and really picked up my spirits. He said, he said, you did the right thing. He said, you did the best thing. 
He said, because, because if you would have did it any other way, watch this, y'all. He said, if you would have did it any other way, he said, you would have been the issue today. Y'all ain't saying nothing today. Listen, Paul tells somebody today, he, 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 he just stopped by. He wants us to know that, that, that a stumbling block is an issue. And the Lord sent me by here to tell somebody today, don't you be the issue. Paul said, let us not put stumbling blocks in someone else's way. But this is what the Lord dropped in my spirit. He said, let us not be the stumbling block in our own pathway. Woo, good God Almighty. Don't be the stumbling block in your own pathway. Let us not be the issue in our own lives. Come on, somebody. Are y'all still with me? Watch this, y'all. Let us get out of the way of us. Come on, Ante. He said, let us get, we, we got to get out of the way of us. Sometimes we looking around for somebody else to be at fault, but ain't nobody else at fault. We are our own worst enemies. Get out of the way of ourselves sometimes. When we get out of the way of ourselves, watch this, saints of God. Watch this, Greg. When we get out of the way of ourselves, Greg, then we can let God be God. Somebody write that in the chat. God is clearing the way. Put that in the chat. Say, God is clearing the way. And then somebody else write this in the chat. Let God be God. He's clearing the way so that he can be God. How many people know that great things are coming your way? But you got to let God be God. You can't put it in your mind. This is how the blessing should be. This is how the blessing should go. You can't put that in your own mind because inside your mind, you got it in a victory basket. But you got it laced in fear. You got it laced in pain. How can, it get, how can it get to you when you got it, all, all this stuff built up around it? God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Number two, I'm, I'm, I'm out of your way. I'm watching the clock. I, I'm out of here. Number two, and I'm out of here. Number two. The sun keeps shining. Write that in the, in the chat. Say, the sun keeps shining. Psalms 37, 3 through 5 says, trust in the Lord and do good. He said, dwell in the land. Put that scripture up there for me, Sister Pete. Psalms 37, 3 through 5. He said, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. He says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteousness reward shine like the dawn your vindication would be like the noonday sun a few years ago first lady and myself we went to phoenix arizona and folks that live in arizona or folks that live in california like my cousins uh, where the weather is consistently warm. They don't think about uh, this very much because it's always so warm. But but those of us that live in places like Michigan that are sometimes real gloomy, we, we go to these sunny places and, and, and we appreciate the good sun sometimes. Amen. So one morning, the first lady and myself, we rose up and and we got up real early and we said we, we the, the whole point and the intent was to get up just so that we could see the sunrise. Come on, somebody. We, 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 we want to get up. We want to we want to rise up to see the, the, the dawn of a brand new day. But watch this. Watch this. I, I, I hate to be the, the, the dream buster, but I got to I got to speak into some reality here. First lady, do you realize that? What is interesting is that the sun doesn't move. <laughs> we, are, we always talk about the sun rising and the sun setting, but the sun doesn't move. The sun is not rising. The sun is not setting. Here's the truth of the matter, y'all. The earth is rotating on its axis, and the earth rotates to different locations of the earth, and light passes through. What I love about the sun is that the sun 
Watch this. It does what it does, Sister Pete. The sun doesn't move. The sun just shines. Ooh, that's good stuff, y'all. The, 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 the sun is not thinking, oh, it's some clouds coming. It's better for me to move over there because uh, my light will shine a little bit better over there. No, 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 no. The sun keeps on shining right where it is. Amen? No, the, the sun stays in position. It doesn't matter. Even the clouds might, might try to drift in front of the sun to block the sun. But what is interesting is that the sun never moves. I stopped by to tell somebody today, gird up their loins. I stopped by to tell somebody today, widen your base. I stopped by to tell somebody, don't you give up. Don't you give in. I stopped by to tell somebody today to keep shining right where you are. Keep on shining. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, but acknowledge him. Watch this. And this is what he's going to do. He shall direct your paths. In other words, God's going to direct every path that you take. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Watch this. This is what the psalmist said. The psalmist said, do good. I'm almost done, y'all. The light is going to shine on you. Why? Because you've done good. The song says, the song says, I, I, I love this, another old school song. Uh, the lyrics go like this. It says, I've had some good days. It said, I had some hills to climb. The song said, I had some weary days. The song said, I've even had some sleepless nights. But this is what the song says. It says, when I look around and I think things over. This is what she said. She said, all of my good days, I wish I had. Boy, Eugenia, I wish I could sing. I said, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. And this is what I love. She said, I won't complain. But, but watch this. But this is my favorite part. My favorite part says, you know why I won't complain? Because God has been good to me. <laughs> Woo, good God Almighty. I said, God has been good to me. Y'all don't know. 23 months, over 200 messages. You don't know. God's been good to me. Never shut me out. Never stop coming. Never stop watching me. Never stop speaking through me. God's been good to me. Preaching messages, preaching funerals. God's been good to me. Somebody say, God's been good to me. Huh? Somebody say, the sun keeps on shining. I mean, I mean, I mean, people know that that the enemy tries to get us to focus on some bad stuff. Anybody ever notice that it's easier to remember bad stuff than it is sometimes to remember good stuff? Somebody ought to stand on your feet wherever you are and declare that my sun is going to shine today. Somebody say the sun is shining. Come on. Somebody say it out loud wherever you are. Say the sun is shining. The sun will shine today. The sun will shine tomorrow. It might be a little cloudy, may even be a little rainy, but somewhere the sun is shining. Somebody say the sun is shining. Y'all know why the sun is shining? Because the sun lives. I ain't talking about the S-U-N lives. I'm talking about the S-O-N lives. He's shining because the sun lives big in me. Preach, Thomas. Somebody write in the chat, he lives. Somebody write in the chat, he lives. I ain't got no reason to complain. God's been good to me. He's opened doors that I could not see. Hallelujah. God's been good to me. Man, I feel like running. I feel like shouting. I feel like giving God some glory. I wish I had some witnesses in this place today that say, son, keep on shining. Clear the way. Clear the clutter out. Here I come, world. I say, here I come, world. God's going to let it shine. He's going to let it shine all over you. The sun lives. Listen, the doors of the church are open. You come as camp for baptism. You come on your own Christian experience. You may come. Hallelujah. You may come. Somebody, listen. Somebody, somebody today, you've had some, some, some hurdles. You had some roadblocks in your way. Maybe some people put some, some stumbling blocks in your way. But let, let me teach you something right here. They, uh, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, I had the, uh, uh, I had the, the, the blessed experience of witnessing 
a couple of the greatest hurdlers that ever ran track. Uh, and one guy named was Edwin Moses. Another guy named was uh, Renato Skeets Nehemiah. And Edwin Moses, man, held all kind of records. And I was watching the interview of him. And, 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 and one day, the, 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 um, uh, the announcer or the guy that was interviewing him, this is what he said to, to, to Moses. He said, he said how, do you, how do you jump over those hurdles? And Moses looked at him kind of perplexed. He said, I'm not jumping over the hurdles. He said, I'm stepping over the hurdles. He said, it's nothing more than an exaggerated step. What are you talking about, Thomas? I came to tell somebody today, give your life to the Lord. Yes, you've had some hurdles. Yes, you've had some stumbling blocks. But God has given you the ability to step over that thing. Huh? It's just an exaggerated step. And now you're coming to the finish line. Give your life to the Lord today. I said, give your life to the Lord today. Hmm? You can come. If that's you, if that's you, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Just You got to speak it with your mouth. Say, Father God. Say, you said in your word that if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart, that I shall be saved. Lord, I confess. Say it. Say, I confess that you are Lord. Come into my heart today. Come into my life today. Holy Spirit, say that out loud. Say, Holy Spirit, say, have your way in my life today that you said if I confess and I believe that I shall be saved I'm saved today in Jesus name amen amen hallelujah God bless you if you got saved DM me today let me know hey I got I just got saved today come on first lady I just got saved today you know I get I get I get I get I get caught up in I get caught up amen 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 clearing the way saints God is clearing the way, my God. He's clearing the way. Some big yes. things, big thing. I see big things happening. Amen. Yes, yes, I can sense them. Praise God. Amen. 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 Did you have anything else, or you just? No, I just. I've been in a kind of a receiving mode lately, just Amen. getting it in. You know, just Amen. getting that uh that mandate for the year. Amen. Clearing Amen. the way. If um, if you uh somebody today, I need you to go wherever you are on your device. And just share this with somebody today. Amen. Would y'all do Thank me? Thank you. Just do that little evangelism. Thank you. You know, things are different now. Things are different now. We're not knocking on people's door, evangelizing them. Hey, do you know Christ? Remember when we used to do that kind of stuff? Now, this is your new evangelism tool. Amen. This is your new evangelism tool. Your evangelism tool is just click that share button, and then everybody that follows you will see this word. And guess what? That's all you have to do. Whether they link on it and get the word or not, that's up to them. But you've done your part. You've you done just your part. shared the message. You shared Amen. the message. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't normally do this, but somebody needs to put a seed in the ground. Somebody, you need to put a seed in the ground. Amen. If we were at church today when a powerful message like that went on, people would come to the altar and be dropping uh, money at the altar. I don't, I don't, you know. I don't tell nobody what to do, but I just want to make sure that you have an opportunity yes. to put a seed in the ground. Somebody put a seed in yes. the ground today. It's just time for the ground. world to see the goodness of your heart. Amen. 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 The glory of God, he's clearing the way for you, for me. Amen. Dante said big things is happening. Yes, I can Hallelujah. sense it. He said big thing. Uh, uh, Rhonda, Rhonda Miller said wonderful message. Wonderful Amen. message. Hi, Rhonda. Amen. Melissa said praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just pray, Lord. Well, listen, listen, God bless you guys. And, and let me get out of your way so that you can go and get ready for the game and don't eat too much and do all that stuff. Y'all just enjoy yourselves. Amen. And uh, before we go, whoever you're che cheering for, uh, put it on the screen real quick. Whoever you're cheering for today, just put it on the screen. And have a quick. happy Valentine's Day to yeah, you all. Yeah, a real happy yes. Valentine's Day. Let me see who y'all cheering for, and I, then I'll finish this up and see who what, who, what team I need to cheer for. <laughs> You gonna change? I, I you gonna I, change based on what what's in the chat? Based on who winning in the third <laughs> quarter. 
Amen. I'm, I'm a, hey, John Bishop, Amen. I might change based on who went in the third quarter. Amen. It's Amen. hard to go against Stafford. I love Stafford, man. He did great things in Detroit. He's still doing great things in Detroit. Amen. Amen. I was trying to see if somebody's going to come up. It don't look like it. So it looked like maybe after. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh Rams. Cincy. In Cincinnati. Rams, Cincinnati. Yeah. Rams. Yeah. Greg Miller. The Detroit Lions. Hey, that's right. The Detroit Lions. Hey, hey, hey look, Simon. That's the 313. The D is in the house. Come hey, on. Hey, 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 Simon say, I'm, hey, it's Die Detroit hard. I live. <laughs> Amen. All right, y'all. Listen. Amen. That's all we have for today. We just have a little fun with it at the end. Listen, God bless you. May the good Lord keep you. May heaven smile upon you. That is our prayer. We love you guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Amen. Have a great week. Love you.